I'm Dr. Altman. I'm with uh, Scott Ainsley again. We're uh, playing with guitars. We now want to talk about the tension in the string. And uh, that's these little things up here that people always try playing with while you're uh, playing guitar. And they think they're being funny by twisting one of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what these do is rotate. The, it's a, you know, it rotates on an axis, and it's a geared peg. And it raises or lowers the number of wraps you've got around the peg up there. And so I'm going to tune up. So it's changing the tension, making a, a greater force, right. and the force is related to the frequency. So the more force, the more tension in the string, the faster it vibrates. That's right. And, uh, uh, well, in fact, the faster sound travels through it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's, it, it affects the speed of uh, the wave itself, and so it goes through faster. So it gets to the end, comes back, there and back, back and back, and so it goes back and forth faster, higher frequency, higher pitch. Yeah, but we haven't changed the string length and we haven't changed the mass. All we've done is change the tension. That's so right. We got one variable. There's going the here. variable, and here's the other one. Okay, and you can change it. Now, uh, musicians have certain set uh, uh, pitches they want their instruments to be, and by varying these in in some songs, you can change the tuning. So that instead of playing a bar, you can just play the basic note and different things like that. But it gives you, as a solo guitarist, it gives you a lot of a lot of noise for the buck. Um. Yeah. Right. Oh, wait, 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 we're back. Now another thing you can do to change the tension is to bend a note, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. A bending a note. Show us bending a note. Well, if I take put my fingers down behind the frets here, okay. static. I've just shortened the strings. But if I push one. So it's kind of like wrapping it up here, right. but you're just stretching it there. You're changing the tension there. And actually, when you set up a fretted instrument, um, you push the, the string down to the fret, and you're actually stretching the string down, so there. you're yeah, raising yeah, yeah. it. So the, the 12th fret, which should be the, the exact middle of the string, is actually set back a little bit to make because you room for the, the tension you're, as well. Because you're adjusting the tension. So a well-built guitar will go... We get the same note. A badly built guitar will go like this. Because they haven't adjusted correctly right. for the for the for the length, the height of the strings. So when you go in to buy a guitar, now you know what to look for. Yeah, check the twelve, 12 fret. fret yeah, watch that, boy. That's watch, that physics. Watch physics that is probably, gonna save you so much money. It will. It will keep you from making All right, a terrible play us something, mistake. Will you? Okay. <laughs> 